Hello everyone just podcast TV is here please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified on new content. Episode 349 The Warmth of Home Sir, if you're here to buy flowers we welcome you. But if you're here to cause trouble, I think you're in the wrong place. It was not Minnie who spoke. It was the woman in her 30s beside her. Her attitude was very tough, even though she did not pay much attention to the goods when she introduced them just now. She liked to ignore them. Zach looked at her and then looked back at Minnie. Are they monitoring you? Minnie did not answer Zach's question. She continued to lower her head and elegantly started to plant flowers. Zach handed the white chrysanthemum flower plant blue to the woman in her 30s next to him. Don't talk. Be careful that you use it. Zach gave the flower batch to her and then went straight to the point with Minnie. My name is Marquez, and my first name is Zach. Outsiders prefer to call me Mr. Marquez. My home is on Rustmud Island. If I remember correctly, we met when you were young. Minnie's hand that was cutting flowers trembled slightly. The expression on her face was even more shocked. Obviously, she still remembered what kind of Marquez family the Marquez family that lived on Rustmud Island was. After that... Without waiting for her to say anything, Zach continued. The Angler family needs a new leader. That was all. Zach had introduced himself in a grand manner. But when it came to proper business, it was very simple. It was just one sentence. However, the grander it was, the more fearless it was. The simpler it was, the storm behind it was like an ocean. The Angler family needed a new leader this sounded very common but it was frightening to think about of course the leader didn't agree to be replaced so what came next was a conflict how could they start a conflict with a huge family like the angler family the marquez family the marquez family that lived on rustman island with zach's support the angler family needed a new leader so it was no longer an empty promise when zach said this The 30-year-old woman beside him was shocked. She should be shocked by Zach's treasonous behavior. However, Zach did not have much interest in paying attention to her. He paid more attention to Minnie. At this time, Minnie, after being stunned, continued to plant flowers. It seemed that she was not interested in this matter. The reason was that Zach did not know why, but he was very clear about one thing. He also had to let Minnie know clearly. One point. I can let you become the head of the family. I can let you take revenge for your parents and two brothers openly. This is also the only chance you can give them to take revenge. Of course, you can refuse. In any case, the ones who were humiliated to death by a dirty thief weren't my parents or older brothers. Zach was deliberately provoking Minnie, and he even had a mocking tone. However... This kind of ridicule wasn't for Minnie, nor was it given by Zack. It was given to Tokugawa by the current leader of the Angler family. Some people couldn't stand it. It seemed like they couldn't accept such an arrogant and arrogant thing. The woman in her 30s in the shop was very angry. Angler family, you can't be. You! With a click, the rose branch was cut off. Then the white rose with a sharp cut went into the woman's temple. When the woman collapsed on the ground without any life, Minnie, who had finished planting the flowers, finally responded, Sure, if I can get my revenge, I'm willing to let the Angler family become an external vessel of the Marquez family. Looking at the woman whose life was ended by Minnie using a rose, Zach said, It seems like you are living a rather bad life. It has been so many years. But there are still people watching you. Minnie picked up a wet towel and wiped her hands. A lot. On the surface, it is in the dark. Zack asked. I have a question that I'm curious about. Why are you still alive? Minnie turned her head to look at Zack. Her face was full of grief. Because I... I killed my own brother. With a sweet smile, she said that her brother was killed by her own hands. Which shocked Zack quite a bit. According to this information, Minnie's brother was not a mutt. He was completely different from Mark Angler. 
This person was very obedient and smart. When he was very young, he had displayed excellent intelligence and talent in management. He was very liked by his father. Of course, what his father liked was definitely not what other people liked. Therefore, Minnie's brother also died in the end. But Zack never would have thought that he would die by Minnie's hands. However, after thinking about it, he felt relieved. Your brother wanted you to live, so he asked you to kill him so you could be safe. Minnie took a deep breath and shook her head. Mr. Marquez is very smart. He was probably right, but the process was wrong. My brother was never so noble. Instead, he wanted to surrender to the assassin thief, so I killed him. It was really hard to guess human nature, especially in an extremely oppressive environment. No one could tell what would happen. After pouring a cup of tea, Minnie carried it to Zack's side, knelt down, and respectfully served it to him. Master, please have some tea. Zack knew that this was a ceremony, a way to express loyalty. But he did not accept it, and let Minnie stand up. I am not interested in controlling your family. I am not even interested in controlling my own family. That's why I'm not your boss. You don't have to kneel to me in the future. I don't like this. Minnie was slightly stunned, but she still stood up and did not ask why. Because Zack had already said in his own words that he did not like it. This was the reason. When Zack took the tea and tasted it, Minnie said, I need an absolute power of mine. I can control the Angler family overnight. There will not be any major upheavals. In one night, Zack was a little surprised. He didn't expect Minnie to be so confident. He thought that it would take two days or even more. So he asked, What right do you have to make me believe that you can do it in one night? Minnie replied, I can't prove it to you before it happens. But in order to achieve your real purpose, you can only trust me. Other than me, no other madman would dare to ignore the pressure of the man family and risk offending them to carry out a family change. Zack smiled. I have underestimated you. It seems like you have prepared a lot of things. Minnie nodded. At least, my father was not bad when he was alive. This also meant that there were still some people who were actually supporting Minnie. This was very good. This would make Minnie's plan much smoother and also save Zack a lot of time. But there was one thing that Zack needed to ensure. It was impossible for him to support Minnie to take the position and then let Minnie pat her butt and throw herself into the arms of the man family. How are you going to protect my interests? I can give my daughter to you. Minnie did not hesitate to hand over her daughter as if she was handing over someone else's daughter. But Zack believed that this was only because Minnie wanted to seize this opportunity that she had no other choice but to make a decision. To a mother, there was nothing more important than a child. So Minnie handed the child over. So Zack also believed her sincerity. So Zack stretched out his hand and held Minnie's soft and small hand. Congratulations to the Angler family leader. Episode 350, Playdate. The female corpse in the store was to be taken care of. Of course, Zack and Minnie did not need to worry about this. After that, the two of them left the flower shop and drove back to Minnie's residence. Minnie lived in an independent manor. The environment was very beautiful, and the wood style was very fresh. It was a bit vintage. It was evening. Just as they returned home, a very cute little girl ran over. The little girl was not big and looked to be around three years old. She did not run steadily and sweetly called out, Mommy! A smile bloomed on Minnie's face. Although she also smiled before, that smile was only a polite greeting. But the smile at this moment was different. This smile came from the bottom of her heart, and even her eyes were filled with love. Especially when the little girl accidentally tripped. The worry in her eyes became even stronger. Minnie quickly walked forward and picked up the child. Then she reproached the little girl for not understanding the principle of being reserved and was not allowed to run in the future. A three-year-old little girl, how could she know what being reserved was? 
However, she still agreed in a very orderly manner. However, the pain that she felt just now disappeared completely after she threw herself into Minnie's warm embrace. Zack originally wanted to take the child away, but after seeing the scene, he decided to give up. Let her stay by your side. I don't want to be annoyed by a little girl all day looking for her mother. That is very annoying. Originally, sending her daughter out as a hostage was something Minnie had no choice but to do. So even if it was voluntary, she was very reluctant to do so. Especially when she remembered that her daughter would cry and look for her mother. Her heart ached even more. But now, Zack took the initiative to give up on taking the child away. This made Minnie especially moved. She knew that Zack did not only give up on the child, he might also have wasted his efforts. It was only because of a child's attachment to the mother that he was willing to take such a huge risk. Mr. Marquez, you are a kind person, thank you. Holding her daughter's hand, Minnie said to her, Juniper, bow and thank the man. Juniper was naturally her daughter's name. The three-year-old Juniper did not know why she bowed and expressed her thanks. But as the person she trusted the most, she would do whatever her mother said. So in the next moment, Minnie and her mother bowed to Zack in unison. Thank you. Thank you very much. Zack indicated that there was nothing wrong with it. He immediately greeted Minnie and prepared to leave. But at this moment, Juniper's tender voice suddenly sounded. Don't you want to stay for dinner? Zack was slightly stunned. He did not know if it was Juniper's idea or Minnie's. But Minnie knew that she did not say that at all. This was Juniper's own intention. Seeing that her uncle and mother were looking at her, Juniper raised her small face and said very seriously, Mom, you often tell me to be polite to guests. You must let our guests feel the warmth of our home. Minnie did not know what to say about Juniper's words. It was true that she had taught her this. But Zack was an unfamiliar man. Besides the nanny in her house, there were only the two of them. It was not easy to say that she had let an unfamiliar man into her home for dinner at night. This had nothing to do with courtesy and safety, but now that Juniper had said it, and Zack's status was so noble, she naturally could not ignore it. Therefore, she said with embarrassment, Juniper is right. It's because I didn't think it through properly. I'll just invite Mr. Marquez to stay for dinner. Zack liked Juniper very much. This little girl was very sensible and polite. Moreover, her appearance was also very cute, like a porcelain doll. However, he knew what food he could eat and what food he could not eat. Therefore, he walked forward and squatted down to express his gratitude to Juniper. However, he declined Juniper's good intentions. Mom, can you ask the man to stay? I want to play a few games. Juniper's voice became softer and softer as she spoke. She seemed to feel wronged. This kind of grievance made Minnie feel a strong sense of guilt in her heart. So she looked at Zack in embarrassment. Mr. Marquez. Minnie did not know what to say. The dignified heir of the Marquez family was actually invited by her to play some games. This was very awkward, especially since the game was based on family. This also meant that the three characters were parents and a child. If Zack stayed behind to play this kind of game with Juniper, he would naturally play the role of a father. So Minnie was very embarrassed. After calling Zack, she did not know how to say the rest of the words. Zack also heard Juniper's request, so he nodded. <laughs> Episode 351, Games. A child's wish is not to be rejected, especially this little wish. Zack's stay made Juniper feel very happy, but at the same time, it also filled Minnie's heart with gratitude. She understood why Zack wanted to leave at first, and also why Zack wanted to stay. Just like what she said to Zack after Juniper left happily, Mr. Marquez, you are really a very kind person. Thank you for thinking for me. And also... Thank you for thinking for Juniper. Thank you very much. Zack smiled, indicating that it wasn't a big deal. After that, he went forward and picked Juniper up, allowing her to ride on his shoulder like a horse. Juniper felt extremely excited. 
she shouted happily and waved her small hands with all her might. If it wasn't for Zack's strong and powerful hands supporting Juniper's back, Minnie would really be worried about Juniper's safety. Seeing Juniper so happy, and Zack really like children, made a warm smile appear on her face. If this was a real family, how good would that be? Minnie did not hope for Zack to become the father of the child. She just wanted to know how good it would be for Juniper if she could have a complete family. Unfortunately, Juniper's father, Minnie did not think too much about it. After she handed Juniper over to Zack, she went back into the kitchen and prepared dinner with the nanny. The food was very meticulous. It seemed to take care of Zack's taste. Minnie personally cooked the food. But Minnie was very surprised because Juniper liked Zack very much. And Zack did not have the slightest bit of aversion. He looked like a responsible male teacher in a kindergarten. Whether it was teasing the child or calling the child to eat, Zack performed very well. Furthermore, Juniper was very cooperative with Zack. No matter what Zack asked her to do or pointed out any mistakes, she would do it perfectly. For the first time, she felt that this big house really gave birth to a warm feeling of home. After dinner, Juniper impatiently turned on the television and waited for the show to begin. While waiting, Juniper kept talking about how good the program was. Through her description, she also knew that many children were at home playing the game that was being played in the program with their parents. Zack chuckled as he listened to Juniper's recount. Occasionally, when he met Minnie's eyes, he would also reveal a kind smile. It was really hard for Minnie to imagine that such a kind person would actually set off a huge storm in the Angler family. After accompanying Juniper for a while, the parent-child game finally began. She had to admit that this parent-child game was indeed beneficial to promoting family harmony, making the relationship between parents and children even more warm. During this night, Zack had a very good time playing with Juniper, and Minnie was also in a very good mood. At 9 o'clock in the evening, it was time to sleep, so Minnie also had to call Juniper to sleep. Even though Juniper was very unwilling, Minnie had already decided on the time to sleep, so she still obediently went to bed. After Juniper returned to her room, Zack looked at Minnie. Juniper is asleep, so I should go now. I will arrange for the people you need to come over as soon as possible. After saying that, Zack got up and walked towards the door. He put on his shoes and walked away. Minnie hurriedly followed him and sent him out. After all, he was a guest. No matter how awkward it was, he was still a guest. There should be some manners. On the way... Minnie expressed her gratitude to Zack again and again, thanking him for helping her take revenge, and also thanking him for accompanying Juniper tonight. Episode 352 The Biggest Villain On the way out, Zack asked about Juniper's father. Juniper's father passed away. He was sent by the Angler family to spy on me. But he fell in love with me after that. He also felt sorry for my situation, so he wanted to take me away. However, this incident was discovered by Mark Angler in the end, so he was killed. I was supposed to be punished by revenge, but because I was pregnant and there were some elders in the family who were willing to speak up for me, I was able to save my life and Juniper. In other words, Minnie's parents, big brother, and husband were all killed by the people of the Angler family. Although Minnie was the one who killed her own brother, in fact, this grudge was also counted on by the head of the Angler family. No wonder Minnie was so obsessed with revenge. She would sacrifice everything for revenge and even use her daughter as a hostage. If it was Zack, Zack believed that he would do the same. A poor woman and a poor child. This was the situation that Minnie and Juniper were in. After leaving Minnie's house, Zack sat at the entrance of the manor and called Taylor. After telling Taylor the address, he ordered Taylor to bring people over and protect Minnie and her daughter. Now that he had made contact with Minnie and her daughter, some people would definitely guess what was going on, so he had to ensure the safety of the mother and the daughter. Minnie stood in the front of the window on the second floor of the wooden building and accidentally saw Zack sitting at the door. She was slightly stunned, but she immediately understood the reason. 
She guessed that Zack was waiting for someone to come and protect the mother and the daughter. In fact, she had also had some means to protect herself. Otherwise, she would have died a long time ago. But now that she found out that Zack was protecting her, Minnie felt a lot more at ease. It was not just because Zack was stronger. It was because this man wanted to protect them from the bottom of his heart. That night, when the person Taylor arranged for came over, Zack left in his car and returned to the hotel. Along the way, he saw a sneaky figure by the roadside. He flashed into the trees by the side of the road. Needless to say, it must be someone from the Angler family sent to monitor Minnie. However, he did not mind. The Angler family would know about this sooner or later. There was nothing to hide. In fact, Mark Angler, who was in charge of this matter that night, had indeed received a report from his subordinates. Mr. Angler, we found Zack entering the manor with Minnie outside Minnie's manor. It was three hours later when they came out. Zack also arranged for people to protect Minnie's residence. At this time, Mark Angler was thinking about how to better serve Holden when he received this news. He was shocked and subconsciously thought that Zack wanted to support Minnie as the family head. This situation was not impossible. After all, Minnie had a grudge with the family. Zack also said that he wanted to change the family head. Therefore, he was very worried about this matter. But at the same time, he was more assured that he would be killed by Zack. Just a moment ago, Zack was killed by Zack. The second time he met Zack, he would happily run to the door and become a dog for Holden. He gave Zack a slap in the face. Initially, he thought that with Holden protecting him, Zack wouldn't dare to do anything to him. But now, he had actually hooked up with Minnie. And that was why Mark Angler was a little afraid. If Zack really went crazy and wanted to deal with the Angler family, then what reason did he have to keep Mark Angler? He would definitely kill Mark Angler as well. When he thought of this, Mark Angler, who was filled with endless fear, immediately ordered, Send someone to keep a close watch on Taylor! If Zack really wanted to deal with the Angler family, he would definitely use Taylor's strength. Therefore, Mark Angler had to keep a close watch on Taylor's side. However, he was still worried about this. It was better to wait for Zack to come and fight him than to make him afraid to fight. Therefore, he did not care that it was already past 9 o'clock. He called Holden. Sir, Zack has joined forces with Minnie and our family. It seems like they are going to make a deal with our Angler family. Holden smiled. Mr. Marquez, do you dare? If it's that trash Michael, I believe it. There's still a possibility because he doesn't have a brain. Zack, how is that possible? Attempting to behead the other families or subverting their power? This is a huge taboo. Besides, I just represented the Man family and went to the Angler family. What he did not only offended you, but also the Man family. Mark Angler, please use your brain. Don't call me about such things in the future. I'm not as relaxed as you think. You only need to tell Zack that you are my man. As a dog, you need to fully understand how powerful your master is. Holden was very arrogant, but he also gave Mark Angler unlimited confidence. Understood, master. I'm sorry. This kind of thing won't happen again in the future. Holden did not give any reply. Hanging up the phone itself was a very good reply. However, after hanging up the phone, he was not as arrogant as he sounded on the phone. He was wondering why Zack was with Minnie, a woman who had no value at all. Did he really want to overturn the Angler family?